People whose lives are miserable because their amygdala pulls them towards fear, and they keep finding, you know, scary things in life, scary views of God, scary people, and they live their whole life and they can have a real problem. But this can be healed. I keep finding conspiracies. See, this is the amygdala. Everyone's amygdala is a little bit turned towards fear because you've had a lot of trauma in this world. You know? All of us humans have the effects of it. And that's why the Bible says that joy of the Lord is my strength. And so when God gives you joy, it helps you realize, I can look into what the devil's doing, and that can be interesting. And if I spend so much time on it, it makes me question, who is my protector? My knowledge, my perception, or God, you know? The four-year-old child trusts their parents. They don't know about the conspiracy theories. They just play and are happy, you know? I want to be the same as an adult. No that things are wrong, but not to have to feel, I have to do these things, or I have to know these things to be safe. Because that's not going to work, you know. The wicked are like grass. Yeah, yeah. The, the one who doesn't understand, the one who doesn't know, Yeah. Uh, doesn't understand. Yeah. And the grass, you know, it grows, and then, you know, the wind blows, and it fades away so quickly, you know. Maybe that's referring to their effect, you know, like, I want to have a blessed effect, not just live in this life 70, 80, 90 years, but I want to have decades of blessing for people, you know. To help people where they hurt, not just have, you know, words with no meaning. The fourth beast is like an eagle. So when you have that, there's a part of God's heart that's working to get his working in you. I mean, imagine if you're a soldier in war and you need some support because you're against a strong enemy. And you get a phone call from your commander saying, we're working to give you backup, they're on their way. You have encouragement. And then when you see the planes, it might be like, okay, they're going to fly overhead, they're going to bomb the enemy, and we're going to have some victory, you know. So just imagine everybody in heaven who knows who you are. And trust me, there's a lot, you know. I have this thought that up in heaven, every single one of us is famous. And they're working 24 hours a day to bless us and to give us encouragement, and they give us backup, you know. The angel of the Lord encamps around about those that fear him, and he delivers them. Let me tell you a couple of stories, because I've had five experiences I know of where I was saved from death. I remember driving, what were you going to say? I also was saved from death many times. I'm so glad. I'm glad you made it through, Christina, because if I got to heaven and you weren't there, I would miss you. Oh, I so like you. you. I love you. And I'm I glad like you're a part of you. my family. <laughs> and so God says, this one was stuck over here. I'm going to pull her out and move her over here, you know. And then we appreciate God's goodness forever because some of us have been pretty deep, you know, into the dark side. And yep. how God got us out as a miracle. You know? Yeah, amen. Yes. amen. I remember one Thank time. You, amen. I'll tell you this story too, I feel impressed to tell you this. I was with a lady in Hawaii, and she was heavily demonized, you know, they would take over her facial expression, and they would affect how she acted, and I said, God, I want to help this person. I prayed before I got to Hawaii, I said, God, I want you to give me some hard things to do. Give me something that is really like not, you know, the entry-level Christian task. I want you to give me something advanced, because I'm ready, I want to do something real, you know. So I find this lady, and she comes with a friend, and they move into my house, and they're like, okay, Father, what do you want me to do? And I began to realize she needed to have some spiritual deliverance. So we went to battle for her, and it was like three or four hours a day of praying, you know, for a month. I've never had such an experience in life that was so thrilling, because I felt Christ's presence with me, and it was the sense that he was using me, like a glove uses a hand to do work. And I felt like I was invincible. And how I describe Christ's presence when it hits me strongly is absolute love wedded to absolute power. It's absolutely thrilling, like, wow, nothing can touch me. If I don't take back control, if I just let this caress blow through me, all the demons are going to be pushed out, you know. It took about a month, probably about, you know, 100 evil spirits, but after a month, all gone. And I said, sister, I think there's one more gift God has for you. She said, I have a problem. When I go to the mall, when I go to the store, when I'm in public, I can see all the fallen angels, and I can't turn off this awareness. I said, do you believe that God's going to protect you? She says, yes. I said, do you believe 
that you don't have to see these evil angels for you to be saved, because God sees everything. But for you, sister, to see it all, it's going to blow your circuits. You won't be able to live. And so I said, Dear Father, in Yeshua's name, please turn off this awareness so this woman can function. And turned off instantly. So the first time in her life she could go to the store and not be freaking out, you know. She could go and meet friends. Before I met her, she was in a town that reminded her of her past, which was quite traumatic. And after I met her, praise the Lord, she was living in Hawaii and found a husband. It was like, yes, you know. I'm so glad to be a part of that. This is something that all of us Christians can have, is experiences of victory. Not just failures where it's like, God, I'm just slogging through. This happened to people when I was young. I knew people like this. I'm slogging through. My life is miserable, but God is good, you know. That doesn't bring glory to God. And I want to go in there and slay a thousand Amalekites, you know. <laughs> I have it in me. I just, I want to be, you know, lit up like a firecracker, you know. And God says, if you stay with me, I'll light you up, you know, because he says, I'm the light of the world, you know. Not just the didactic truth, but, you know, He's given us love and power and a sound mind in that order, you know. First you give and receive love, then He gives you power, then it's like, okay, now my left brain comes up with ideas at a rapid pace, all connecting together, just like, you know, a beautiful tapestry, you know. I think I could call that fractal Christianity, you know. That's how I want to live. So be encouraged that whatever in your mind is failing, God's rooting for you and He has so many secrets in the scripture of what he can do for you. Things that you didn't think that was ever possible to be solved. So, listen to this. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about, and they were full of eyes within. In other words, they see everybody, all their emotions, all their struggles, and they rest not day or night, see they're working for you 24 hours a day, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And when these beasts gave, give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him and sat on the throne, and worship him that lived forever and ever, and cast their thrones before the crown, the crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So I thank you, Father, for speaking through me today. Thank you for being just an amazing God. And thank you for your truths in Scripture that keep growing and keep connecting, and there's always more, and to know that you're always on our side, whatever has gone wrong in our lives. Amen. Yeah. Now I have this surprise for you guys. I'm going to erase this, and I have two surprises. One of them will involve this speaker. I'd like everyone to get up and stand in a circle around these tables. And uh, I can stop the official recording now. <laughs>